What's going on, everybody? I'm here with a video for the Toilet Imperium 4 browser app. And in this video, we're going to be going over a recent change to the user interface in the agenda phase, and in particular to casting votes. So nothing has changed about the mechanics of voting. Uh, this video is going to be going over a, a newly implemented feature that's going to make certain aspects of voting go a little easier and improve the quality of life of the user. So if you've been playing the app, you'll recall that when it's your turn to vote, what you do is you select one planet at a time, and then the game will tally, you know, keep adding a continuous tally of votes for you. And then you can also deselect the planet one at a time by clicking them, right? So we're voting for terraforming initiative. So say, you know, I wanted to vote Mechatol Rex, so six influence, and I click it. And then if I change my mind, I click it again and deselect it. Now, this is pretty straightforward, but it can become tedious as you gain more planets, right? So you know, you have to scroll through your planets, and then the really annoying part is when a lot of the times, especially if it's the second agenda, you just want to cast all your votes for, or whatever the, the resolution. And, you know, it can get annoying to have to go and click through all of these one by one, right? So what we've done here is included a very simple feature and that's this button right here that's going to pop up only during the agenda phase when it's your turn to cast votes and it does exactly what it says you click it and it's going to select all your planets right so right now i have one two three four five oops one two three four five six seven so if i just click the select all planets button then all these are going to flip over to their exhausted state and then um, and then the tally will tell you how much total votes you have. So if I just click select all planets, you can see all the planets flipped over and we have a total of 17. And this includes the other section of our cards, right? And we can just make sure that's correct. So two, four, seven, eight, 10, 11, 17, right? And this also works in reverse. So if you have all your planets currently selected, you can actually, the game will recognize that you have them all selected. And if you click to select all planets again, it'll uh, flip them all back, right? So all planets have been deselected for this vote. Now that only happens if you have all the planets selected. So say I just have a couple selected, like Mechatol Rex over here and um, Wellen. So right now I have eight. If I click select all, then it's going to just select all the planets, right? So again, 17 there. And if I de I can, from here, I can even just deselect a couple, right? So I can maybe deselect uh, Zobat, and then that just goes down from 17 to 16, because Zobat's influence was one. So this also kind of works as another utility, which is, say you only wanted, you wanted to vote everything except one influence, maybe you want to keep that you know, one influence leverage. Well, then instead of having to click all through all the cards and just not select Zobat, what you can do is just click select all and then deselect Zobat. So that's also nice. Um, so what I actually want to do now, because this is the, the first agenda, so I want to just show that, you know, this, this still works even when you have some cards that are exhausted. The game will um, be able to in a sense, like remember which cards you can't use when you do select all, and then when you deselect them. And so I'm just gonna, what we're gonna do is we're gonna vote through uh, the agenda phase really quickly here with these players. So let's say, all right, let's, let's select all and then let's deselect all. So let's say I only, I wanna vote Archon Tau and Wellen, so I'm only casting three votes. And I'll pick uh, this planet to vote for, and we'll go confirm. 
and then we'll just quickly uh, we'll get the other players to um, to pass here. That way we can get to the uh, the second agenda. So we'll get Charlie to pass. And yeah, so then the outcome resolves, and now let's just go ahead and pass through the ability rounds here. And you can you can see right now that um, the select all button is gone because we're not in a voting phase right now. So we'll just pass on through the ability rounds here. And then um, once Bob passes on his vote, all right, so back to us. All right, so now, same idea, right? You can see now that the select all planets button is back. And um, you can also see uh, terraforming initiative is back, which is attached to Zobat. So now um, what we can do is when we click select all planets, what you're going to see is that, you know, uh, the same thing's going to happen. All planets are going to get exhausted, right? But now when we click to deselect, our contao is still going to stay um, unexhausted because we're not actually using it for the vote, right? So that's how that works. Same thing here, all right? Well, then, don't select it because it's already exhausted. But that's, yeah, that's how the select all um, planet button works. All right, so I hope you enjoy this new feature. I think it's going to make people's lives a little easier during the voting process. And as usual, uh, if you have any comments or suggestions, leave one down below. Otherwise, that's it for this video, and enjoy the rest of your day. Take care.